It's for the record, son. Yeah. Yeah. It's for the. It's for the record. I said it's for the. It's for the record. Yeah, boy. It's for the. It's for the record. And we all are. What is up, everybody? It's your boy Nugs B. Coming to you with episode 50 for the record. Hashtag together FTR. I am joined by Private Miller. And also another cool thing that I'm gonna do that I was uh I was hanging with my homeboys in South Point and they were talking about getting like a board to like uh, isolate audio Sound and then effects. keep like cool shit like that like just you know i'll do like dj clue bombs like breakfast club and shit and like i want to get like clips you know of different things like uh you know i can do some famous people too because you can actually do that like the copyright infringement won't mess you up if it's like under three seconds or something like that so i could do like funny shit from like movies yeah. and stuff like that so i feel like that'll be awesome um so yeah, I'm joined by Private Miller, and you already know Chrissy Chris over here slaying it, baby. West Side, you know. Um, and we're gonna start this episode off. And also, before I, you know, start getting into it, and we start getting crazy because it's gonna happen. Uh, first of all, I just want to thank everybody who tunes in. You guys are beautiful. You guys are awesome. Fifty episodes. It's been just tremendous. It's really just been great, man. And everything has been sick. It's been an awesome road. We've learned so much stuff. Uh, we're growing always super positive. Just trying to do some great stuff, man. It's really been awesome. And we're still learning, and I love it. I'm just trying to master the craft. Uh, but I'll quit getting it sappy. It is a learn as you go. It's a trials and tribulation yeah. thing, man. And I'm not trying to get sappy with it because I got my Matt Murdock <laughs> on, so you know I'm out here daredeviling it. Double D, baby. Uh, <laughs> double D. Uh, so I'm going to get into the entertainment history that my man picked. Uh, so in on this day in 1969, Brian Jones drowned while under the influence of drugs and alcohol after taking a midnight swim in his pool, age 27. Mm. I didn't even know he was a part of the Forever 27 until I just read that. Wow. Damn. So he's one of them, too. That is crazy. Uh, his body was found at the bottom of the pool by his Swedish girlfriend, Anna. I'm not even going to try to say that. I think it's Woe Lynn. Whoa, Lynn. Whoa, Lynn. Whoa, 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 Lynn. <laughs> whip. Cool whip. A little miracle whip, you know. Uh, the coroner's report stated death by misadventure. That's like a cool death, I feel like. Like, you Whoa, were an explorer. You were like Dora the Explorer out here with a misadventure. Like, Swiper got that ass, boy. That's all I'm saying. Uh, and noted his liver and heart were heavily enlarged by drug and alcohol, uh, alcohol abuse. Jones was one of the founding members of the Rolling Stones in the early 60s, used the name Elmo Lewis. Can I start going by that? Is that okay? Can I go by Elmo Lewis? Is this Elmo a real Lewis. thing? Because I'm trying to rock it, son. Next thing, on this day in 1971, American singer Jim Morrison, songwriter and poet of The Doors, was found dead in a bathtub in Paris, France. Didn't know he died in France. Uh, the cause of death was given as a heart attack. He co-wrote some of the group's biggest hits, including Light My Fire, Love Me Two Times, and Love Her Madly. On the 25th anniversary of his death, an estimated 15,000 fans gathered at the French word, French word cemetery. Not even going to try to look dumb. Uh, just not even going to try. So if you want to look it up, that's, that's on you. But I'm not going to sit here and make myself look dumb. So we're going to keep on going. Uh, Paris, France to pay their respects. Just going to say it. I've said it before. I hate the doors. Uh, but my boys, they like them, so we're going to hold it down, and I'm, I'm going to be respectful Whoa. out here. If I wasn't related to you, I wouldn't <laughs> like you. Ah! Mm. Ah! All right, so uh, last, or not, well, last but not least for entertainment history, uh, we got on this day in 1983, Red Hot Chili Peppers take the stage at the Kit Kat Club in Hollywood wearing nothing but socks. Not on their feet. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> it was, uh... Yeah, you know, on the cacks. So, <laughs> you know. Uh, that wraps it up for entertainment history, my friends. Uh, the last thing we have for history of the day, on this day in 1863, uh, the Battle of Gettysburg was ended. So uh, make sure to put out cookies and America's ass for Captain America tonight, because tomorrow's July 4th. And technically, right. this might come out on July 4th. So if you're, if you're you know, a believer of patriotism. You gotta put cookies out for my man. That's all I'm trying to say. And then... Beer and uh, 
Coors Light out for Kid Rock, so maybe some fireworks. Yes! We need some Zizzlers and uh, some Wingdings, you know. Sparklers for us, Sonny. And before we even get into the topics, because we got some really cool shit we're going to talk about today. And if you haven't noticed by now, uh, this is definitely an explicit episode, because I'm just getting crazy. A little bit. And I am Popeye, and I'm a sailor fuck man. It. And I, hey, hey, <laughs> fuck the police coming straight from the underground, baby. Um, first thing I want to get into is, thank you guys so much. It's been super well received. The sketches that have come out for the comic book. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much. We're super blessed. We can't thank you guys enough. We can't wait for you guys to read this story. It's so dope. It's seriously so dope. And if we could get the right animator, we could straight up rock it anime style and put out a million different episodes, quick style, and do it like that. If we if we get a badass animator behind us after the comic book gets some traction with the story and so on and so forth. Um, second thing about the comic book, once again, I'd like to reiterate and let you guys know that it's definitely being worked on. We're trying our best. Hopefully, if we can get everything right, we'll have uh, two comic books. The first two books will be ready by Christmas. Hopefully, that that's like our goal. So we'll have something for you by Christmas. Excuse me. Uh, that you guys can purchase. We don't know prices 100% yet. Uh, we'll probably do a pre-order or something. We'll be doing merch. Uh, and also, like I told you on the last episode, yeah, sculptures. that's what I was about to say. Like I told you on the last episode, we got Wyatt sculptures as well. So we'll have action figures uh, that you can buy with the combo on the pre-order. Uh, so on and so forth. So it's going to be super dope. It's, I mean, it's going to be awesome, man. I seriously cannot wait. And uh, honestly, like I'd like to do like some cosplay too, like dress up yeah. like the characters and shit. Like that would be sick. Straight. Like seriously, <laughs> yeah, straight up, bro. Like, <laughs> And the thing is, like, Some there's... Some of those would be so hard to do. Yeah, they would. You'd have to have, like, a badass makeup artist. Yeah. You'd have to have, like, a... Or, like, a mask. We'd have to have, like, yeah. a really badass, like, silicone mask, like, fitted to us and stuff. Like, or we could just do more of, like, a makeup thing and more simple characters. Like, I feel like... Cause some of them are fucking gnarly looking, so it, it gets a little weird. Uh, but like I said, I just wanted to let everybody know that I really appreciate everybody... You know, everything you guys have done, all the support. And also, as of now, the restriction is lifted off the Together FTR page. So go share, bitch, because the yeah. new prototypes are in. And you can get one of these shirts today. And you can rock the Matt Murdock with it and get Swaggy Nelson on them. That's all I'm trying to say right now, son. <laughs> um, so, once again, comic book, super dope. Uh, new singles I told you guys about. And we're about to talk about his music as well and the bands that he's in. We're going to talk about some dope local artists. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, just some weirdo stuff, man. We're just going to get weird with it. But make sure to go like the page if you haven't already. Make sure to go subscribe to YouTube. And uh, more funky shit on the way, man. Let's go ahead and get into these topics here. So the first thing we're going to go to is something that Cam wanted to talk about. And it's pretty much all the people he wants to shout out, people he wants to talk about. Uh, bands he's involved in, things that he's doing right now, uh, things that are going on in Ironton. You know, I'm sure you want to bring that up as well. Uh, the protest that you were a part of, super dope guy, doing a lot of cool stuff. Uh, and also, drop your Instagram, drop your Facebook, let them all know where they can find you, bro, and just, hey, let them know what's up. All right, but, um, so... I'm Private Miller, and I'm the uh, lead singer for uh, Private Miller and the Star Shooters. Private Miller! And, uh, you know, we're about to start on an album next week, so yeah. you guys should be uh, stay tuned for I'm that. super psyched about that. But then I'm also playing with Walter DeBar, um, the drummer for Walter. Uh, we just dropped a single, Eyes to the Sky, available on major streaming platforms. Um, then we also have, we're also recording another album with uh, Building Rockets, lead singer M. Jameson. I'm playing drums with that band too. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, I got three bands. We're all recording. We're all doing so, dope shit. you're a busy fella. Busy yeah. Fella. Um, you know, I was doing some protests. Just flew back in like a couple days ago uh, mm -hmm. from California, yeah. which is why we kind of tailored the list of entertainment history yeah. to California because I was... Sure. Uh, cruising back from san francisco and a in a, <laughs> in a, cool in a mustang <laughs> i was cruising in a mustang out the desert behind yeah. you know la like behind the mountains awesome. and i was listening to la woman and i know Ooh, you don't like nice. the doors but listening to like la woman and then followed by red hot chili peppers That's in 
the desert of California hits like it doesn't hit awesome. anywhere else. Like you feel the vibe. Like you, there's like a grittiness to LA music that oh, kind of yeah. goes unspoken. Sublime, like Rage Against got, the Machine. Yeah, Rage. I mean, there's so you many got bands. Buku people that came out of Cali that were super gritty. Like yeah, super said. gritty. It's awesome. funky. It's all funky and yeah. it's all dancey, but at the same time, it's got this grit. A lot of great pop came out. I mean, all the great oh, pop yeah. came out of California, too, man. A lot so, of great pop. It was just an amazing experience to go out to California. Like West Coast rap a lot better, too. Oh, oh yeah. And well, that, that, I like Biggie it, more, but I, as a collective, I like West Coast rappers more because there were so many more of them besides, like, right. the Wu-Tang Clan and stuff. You had them, but you had... You had, I mean, Death Row. You had Ruthless Records. Yeah, you NWA, had, oh, the, well, yeah, well, well, yeah, that was before Death Row and all that stuff. So you had yeah. those cats way back right. then, starting it all, really putting on for West Coast. Matt Dre. You had the West Side Connection yep. with Ice Cube. I was, after hey, NWA. as soon as I touched down you know in I mean? San Francisco, I was bumping Matt Dre. Got to. I was Got bumping to, Matt Dre, bro. Got to. Like, awesome. it's uh, California is just a crazy place, yeah. full of crazy. Not for people. everybody, I feel like yeah. too. I feel like not everybody's built for the West no. Coast. You know what See, I mean? I'm not, not a fan. Everybody's built for the West or the East Coast too. I wouldn't. It goes, it goes both ways. I wouldn't live in San Francisco, but I would live in L.A. or like Word. a suburb of L.A. San Francisco to me was like the West Coast, New York. Mm. Like it's all on top of each other. I can handle it. It's too. It's like, like very like clustered. Yeah, but a real good buddy of mine that I served with, he just moved back to Nebraska from California because mm-hmm. his wife was stationed out there and. Excuse me. He uh, he. I, there was a lot of it that he really liked, but there was mm-hmm. a lot of it that he really hated. I mean, the, the weather, the <laughs> yeah. weather, yeah. bro. Like it's just and and like Joe Rogan talks about. He that's why he thinks everybody's just so like loose with it, bro. And everybody's just so like not caring because yeah. they have no actual real issues. Right. Like, think about Massachusetts, bro. Cats that live in like Boston. Those guys <laughs> got to get up two hours before work, and they're like shoveling snow and shit. Just they're working as a com- ice uh, off their windshield. That's what they're working as a community to fucking get to work. They right. gotta like put chains on their fucking tires right. like dude it's a different culture yeah. not everybody's built for that grittiness that's why they're so angry East Coast. yeah brother fuck, they don't give a fuck <laughs> yeah. it's fucking cold it's Boston they're, I mean they're fucking pissed man but, and even where we're at Appalachia's fucking I mean it's it's cold in this part sometimes too man I didn't know I like yeah. the north but still I didn't know the homeless problem was as bad as it was I think South Park made fun of it I was literally it's, just it's really talking about it yeah. it's, it's real really shit. disheartening to come Sad. from like yeah. to be from Sad, a place bro. like this where we take care of our fa- friends right. and family to yeah. go out there and just see like very the, more hospitable. They, they yeah. just don't care. You no. very rarely see somebody a homeless guy around here, and normally it's they're right. passing through. Right. Yeah, you know, they're just passing not like through. yeah, like like the homeless people you would uh, that you would see in California. That's hundred percent right. correct. You're not gonna see cats yeah. like that around here. Uh, the first night I got there, like I stayed at a uh, place called Air Venice. Uh-huh. Like it was like a beachfront kind of like old building that's like a privately owned hotel yeah and uh that very next morning when i woke up um, in santa monica i went out to the beach and talked to a homeless guy for literally over an hour Mm -hmm. just listening to his story uh the guy turned out to be like a published author and stuff and they had a whole backstory like i confirmed it like i went on google Google motherfucker he's like sylvester stallone but you never like my thing that i got from what i got from that conversation was like it doesn't matter like what ring of life you're at yeah. like if you're in the top or you're at the bottom everybody has a story and yeah. everybody's story matters like yeah. every single person's story matters yeah, even, i've told my kids man when we've do seen matter, people though? out they know, do do yeah, all lives like, matter I, is that what we're saying yeah <laughs> the stories do <laughs> uh, you know all it takes is all it takes is one you, a couple wrong to interrupt, moves but i just want to say something did you guys see the post i made that said when people say all lives matter is this what they think happens is faith plus one and it had carmen like <laughs> oh this. my god he's got a cross on it hilarious bro i thought that was yeah. so funny Obviously, for those who are just tuning in, we're just joking. This is not like, it's not legit. We're just talking shit. But I just had to. It was an opening. I saw it. I'm sorry. You can continue. Oh, you're good, man. You're good. No, all I was saying is, man, you know, I've talked to, you know, like you, I've talked to some homeless people before, and I've, you know, I'm Should certainly, I'll homeless? help, I'll buy him some food, know. you know, right. I'll help people when I can. Right. I'll buy homeless people uh, food, but I ain't giving you no money, bro. Like, I, I ain't mean, giving you no the money. The dude just asked me for cigarettes. He asked yeah. me for one okay. cigarette. He wanted to, I got you. A homeless guy wanted to buy go. a cigarette off right. me, and yeah. I was like, dude, here's four. Just take them. I'll like, feed you. Like, yeah. I, I know that sounds shitty, I bro, but I don't Like, know. that could easily be any one of us. You one know it could All it takes is a couple bad-ass decisions, you know, and then you're hit, and boom. That's You've no done, shit. You know, or maybe it's just a string of bad fucking luck. Yeah. Right. You know, not even bad decisions, just yeah. bad luck, and you just fuck right. take it. 
comes but to even, him, and next thing you know, you're sleeping on the street. I've been homeless. Literally, but yeah. Even the cool thing about like talking to that guy, even though he had like n- like what we would perceive as nothing, mm-hmm. he still had a he, rich, he had a plan. He had probably. a plan for like he wanted to start um, a whole homeless like um, rule set or like ethics code where if you're gonna live in this part this of like Venice Beach. Jesus, homeless it was like if you bro. wanted to live here then you would have to respect not steal from the other homeless people and like work together and come up like go to the city council and talk to them about like having certain like food like mm. days where yeah. people serve food to them like and it's like he had nothing to what what I would see or anyone would see as nothing but he had so much to offer yeah. Yeah. it's like it's ridiculous yeah I watched a documentary uh, uh, about Homeless people in the tunnels of LA and stuff, bro. Oh, that's scary, man. Bro, Shh. these motherfuckers Those are legit, folks. like scary folks, bro. Yeah. Like in the in like in LA too, and and a lot of parts of California, they've got like on the highway, bro. You can watch videos and stuff of just tents, bro, for miles, yeah. bro. Like yeah. people just set up, like just homeless people, man. But these people in the tunnel. These motherfuckers remind me of Futurama from Leela's family when she goes under oh, the under thing. the yeah. They were scary. These were like some mutant motherfuckers, yeah. man. Like this was serious, dude. And like down there, dude, it's like wild, wild west, Mad Max shit, yeah. dude. It's yeah. it's either, you know, fucking sink or swim type shit, man. Survival. You know, it's fucking scary, Eat dude. Be Believe that, dude. It's serious, man. And like you you see these people and you're like, damn, dude. Like these are like normal people. Right. Like they don't actually look like mutants, but like they have to fucking live like mutants. Right. Almost, dude. Yeah. It's like. Brutal, but man. then, like, really right, sad. like, maybe like a mile farther away, there's some rich millionaire the million cruising dollars. in a Ferrari down the Literally street. Literally. Right. And he's Not thinking he has mile. every prop. Oh my yeah. God, I I, my, I have to remortgage my house because I just bought a brand new Lamborghini. Like, yeah. bro, like, dude, <laughs> like, life's not that rough, dude. Like, yeah. it's not that rough. These cats are down here, like, eating cats, literally. He <laughs> said, You eat that rat, bro? Because that might be me. Eat a little possum and shit. You never know, bro. Maybe Beverly Hillbillies out there, son. You stop on the side of the road with grandma to get you some fucking possum. But it freaks me out, dude. Like, it really did. Like, I was watching that documentary. I was freaking the fuck out. Because I was like, you know, like you said, it's like, you know, that could easily just be me, you know? Like, right. not in that specific situation. Because I would just go to the park or something. Or I would, like, I don't know. I would figure something out. I wouldn't go into the tunnels, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm good, bro. Like, I'm not saying I'm better than nobody. But I'm just gonna sleep up. I'm gonna sleep up here. I'm right. gonna be okay, bro. Like, right. I'm gonna be sleeping on the fucking park bench or something. I'm not gonna go in the tunnels and, you know. Yeah, because they don't really have like the, you know, like you it's saying, fucking the, brutal. The shitty weather out there it's, to worry about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that's why everybody goes. That's why all the homeless people yeah. go there. That episode of South Park. Watch that shit, bro. There were like buses. They were taking everybody from South Park to fucking California because all the fucking homeless people came to South Park because they thought it was gonna be like oh, this yeah. good spot and they were mooching off everybody. And stuff, and then they took everybody to California, and they played California Love, and they did a remix, and oh they're like singing God. on the like they're singing on like the horn of the bus. You guys gotta watch that episode; it is fucking hilarious. Man. <laughs> hey, they just dropped all of South Park on that HBO Max. No shit, really? they took it off Hulu. Yeah. Wow, they exclusively Why? owned it for years now. Yeah. Holy they shit! Just put it on there a couple days ago. Oh wow, dude, South Park is That's sick, bro. I, I love it. I love it. Started it. at the beginning, man. Dude, the pilot. Yeah. I like the singer. <laughs> about the moon and the Juna and the spring. Uh, he's getting his he's getting his anal probe and shit. Boom! <laughs> it's that fucking thing and those aliens and shit. Dude, Grace, I, bro, I remember that was playing shit. like playing that game, like the game, dude, the South yeah. Park game on sixty four. Yeah, man, that was. And you had the aliens, Mr. Hanky, yeah, and dude. like, oh my god, Mr. Hanky, Mr. Slave. You remember oh, Mr. Yeah. Slave? Oh, dude, yeah. that motherfucker was hilarious, bro. <laughs> they had the whore off of Paris Hilton. And he shoves, yeah. He shoves, oh my god, he shoves her up his ass. What the fuck? Oh my god, dude! And Big Gay Al, love Big Gay Al, dude. Big that show was hilarious. Al. And his Big Gay boat ride. Yep. And he had the gay dog. <laughs> Stan's his dog was gay. Oh god, dude, those motherfuckers were next level, though. Oh, you gotta yeah. think, man. South Park, it's crazy. They've made fun of everybody, Everyone. literally, and nobody's ever. Bono like, tried to being the biggest turd, oh, yeah. fucking the biggest two. turd, bro. Oh, Fish man. sticks. Yeah, fish sticks. I forgot about Kanye. At the end, he's like, he's like making out with that fish in the fucking pond. Brutalness, dude. But that's why I love South Park because a big motto of mine is if you can't make fun of everything, don't make fun of anything. Right. So I feel like if you just if you're making fun of one thing, you're kind of a shit bag. But if you're making fun of everything, you're just being funny, man. Like, I'm not saying like anybody's allowed to just do that. Like, I mean, it has to be in not. I wouldn't want to say good taste. I feel like that's the wrong way to say it yeah but at the same time it's along the lines of you know just know what the hell you're saying if it's not funny don't say it you know like 
But at the same time, you don't know what's going to be perceived as funny. So it's a very, very fine line. It's, right. fine, man. it's, it's weird. Nice. It's a like, slippery Nowadays, slope. especially, dude, 2020, Cancel culture, comedians it's ridiculous. Have, have a real hard time They're right now. Worked. Yeah, man. I mean, they said, you know said something 10 years ago and they're getting it's hit for up. it now. Right. I, it's fucked up. I don't up. agree with that. I think that's pretty I stupid. Do. I don't agree with that either. I think the state... That's stupid. I think that, like, with everything going on right now, I think that the Western culture of civilization and mm-hmm. society, I think we're in for, like, a real awakening again, like a renaissance, because, like, art is, like, from comedy to cartoons to movies to yeah. music... Art is supposed to be a therapeutic tool yeah. that's been used for thousands of years. Mm-hmm. And if we don't get back to allowing art to exist as art, yeah. as opposed to like just like a commercial product or as like a, I don't know, maybe a hit piece article like from some company. You know what I mean? Like for sure, for people sure. are pushing the, like the line of too far of like creating things that aren't even art anymore yeah. and we're losing touch with that and I think that like now is the time that artists need to yeah. speak up about what's right like th- there shouldn't be someone I think people should be more brutal right now yeah be exactly like, no. fuck being sensitive I think yeah. everybody should yeah. just be balls yeah, to the wall yeah. right now correctness is fuck this yeah, shit it's gotta go. really, stupid yeah it's really hurt it's bullshit yeah. it's really hurt it makes it's everybody soft bunch of, man yeah. it makes it's everybody made fucking everybody pussies, bunch of soft man. ass pussies someone in like a department in Hollywood that works for it's some company white should not. Kids, they man. should that's not exactly be telling artists how to exist as no. artists because, right. like, that's what drove Dave Chappelle away. Thank you. Was like that that whole thing. I'm saying, bro, like we can't allow artists to be smothered. Nope. Because that is like once you start smothering art, there's a whole lot of other things that are going to get smothered yep. with it. And that's, that's I mean, that's truth, not man. that's not the. American dream that yeah. I believe in. I'll tell you right now, bro, what you guys need to go check out is uh, Jim Norton. You guys ever check him out? No. Comedian. I showed you him. He's been in a couple What's he movies. look like? Short, white, bald guy. I mean, that's the best way to explain him. <laughs> like, I don't... I literally don't know how else to explain him. But this dude is fucking hilarious. But he pushes the envelope like no other, bro. Like, he's talking about crazy shit. Right. He talks about, like, uh, how Jews fucking... How they uh, circumcise people... Uh, you know, way too late, and he said, like, he went to it one time, and, like, he explains it, and this is, like, true shit. There's a specific person who does it, okay? So, like, there's a guy who his job is to cut off foreskin. So this Ugh. dude, and he said, like, I don't want to I don't want to say the whole bit, but I'll tell you, like, in one part, he's talking about, you know, he thinks, like, they're going to numb the kid, or, like, get, put some booze on his tongue or something. <laughs> he just goes up to this kid, bro, and it's a baby or whatever, you know? I don't know how old the kid was, but you can watch the bit. And he's like, as soon as he does it, it sounds like, he's, I don't know exactly what he said, but he said something like when a Komodo dragon kills a deer and it's like, Marm. and it's like so scared and it's like oh my God. dying fucking animal that's like getting eaten alive right. and like, he makes a sound, dude, and it's fucking hilarious, bro. Right. And it's straight up a racist ass Jew joke, but it's still funny though, man. Like, it's right. funny to me. Like, I find that shit funny because right. I find all humor not all humor funny, but I like dark humor. I really do. Right. Man. It's funny shit. I don't take it seriously. It's not like he's over here fucking, like, worshiping fucking Hitler and shit. It's not like he's fucking right. being a real right. Nazi. It's, he right. just, he finds something I mean, funny, and he pushes it hardcore. Know, jokes aren't for everybody. Exactly. And... He talks about suicide. I mean, he talks about fucked right. up shit. He's just that guy. There, he's a degenerate, and I, I love him. I think there's, like, levels to, like, when art is, like, or comedy is, like, taken in. Yeah. Like, there's levels to it because, like, on surface level, like there's one level where it's just funny, mm-hmm. and then there's another level where you might not think it's funny, but you're still like okay. Yeah. But then there's another level where it's people getting offended. My- now the thing about getting offended, mm-hmm. there's like two ways to go about it. Either you get offended and you tune out the rest of the message, yeah. and you just completely shut everything down, and you just like exist as being offended. Yeah. Well, the you know the key to comedy. Is like if you're offended, you should walk away from a comedy show. Just or don't something. fucking think, go back. Think, you would think. Yeah, well, not just that, but just like think about why you're offended. Oh, okay. Like, why did okay. this joke not sit right too. with me? That's you know what I mean? That, and that's the question people need to ask whenever yeah. they're getting offended by stuff. Why am I offended? Like, yeah. why am I offended as a black person when someone says the N word to me with a hard R? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, I think about it, and at that, after I think about it, mm-hmm. it's like it doesn't have the weight that it had. After I rationalize why I'm offended by it, yeah. and if more people just practice that in general, like art would be like 
movies, right. everything. This yeah. cancel culture would just Look not at Adam Sandler exist. and how many things he did that were super fucking like culture appropriation technically right. and like fucking uh, racist and they were fucking blasphemous and I mean little Nicky. Right. Little oh fucking my Nicky. God, that Look at little great. Nicky, bro. That's the most blasphemous shit you've ever fucking seen. Oh my but God. it's gold. Yeah. It's gold, bro. Yeah. And that brings me to some of the other point I was gonna say back to yours. That's a fucking wonderful perspective. The one I was gonna run with is like what you were saying kind of feeds into what I was saying and pretty much like it's like food, okay? So if I go to this joint and I get something from there and I get this food, when I go back, I'm not going to get the same fucking food I didn't like. Right. So I'm going to know that I don't right. need to fucking go in here and I know I don't like this. This is not for me. Why right. the fuck are you going in here making Yelp reviews and shit, bro? Right. Dropping recommendations on fucking Facebook. Get right. off Twitter, bro. Go fucking do something. Go help your community, man. Yeah. Go fucking... You're over here... I think people get way too offended way too easily it's anymore stupid. anyway. It's stupid. And yeah. also, you, you got know? people... If I'm offended, then you need to be offended. Both you guys yeah. should be offended with me. No. We're gonna fucking offend together. We're gonna boycott. Dude, get fucked. I yeah. get it in certain areas, but you're talking to a motherfucker who still watches the Cosby show. So, like, let's be real. Like, right. I don't give a damn. Like, I'm not saying I don't care about what he did because it was fucked up. But I try to separate the art from the artist, and a lot of people disagree with that. But if you're being honest and you're looking at fucking entertainment as a whole or Hollywood, if you knew the truth about Hollywood, we'd have no entertainment. I right. say it all the time. I've said it forever, yeah. bro. I'm going to be real upset one day if I truth. find out that Keanu Reeves did some bad oh, shit. God. You know what I mean? Oh, Please don't. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, it... I mean, Patrick he's dead. They better not talk about my I'm boy. I'm not going to say that Keanu Reeves is because everything I've ever heard about the man right, is yeah. just wonderful things. Right. You know what I mean? But that'd be real shitty. And right, that's a yeah. possibility that your favorite movie star, your favorite entertainer, one day you might get, you know, you never turn on the news and see that they're being arrested for right. deviling a kid or rape Weirdo or whatever. Weirdo shit. Fuck Danny yeah. Masterson, you know? Yeah. Fucking... That's I my guy. That I love show. Hyde. I love I that love Rooster, show. Hyde's you know? the best character on there. Yeah, he really is. Boom, he just got hit. But the thing, going to prison, prison, like big boy the prison thing that's going on with cancel PC, culture, but. though, like, yes, I do think that, like, with the Me Too movement, there was, like, certain, like, there are victims of, like, oh, sexual absolutely. harassment and all absolutely. that. Disclaimer of what I'm about to say. Mm -hmm. But the thing, though, is, is, like, the people, a lot of people that are, like, like pushing this agenda of cancel culture, mm -hmm. it's people who, one, haven't even done anything up to the level of the people that they're trying to cancel. Literally, they're so, piece of shit critics. And then, two, it's like, what if you, in that situation, like, what mm -hmm. what do you have in your closet? Because yeah. all these people are right, pointing fingers. Of shit. Like, don't throw a stone in a glass house. Right, you know what yeah, I mean? Right, like, right. you're you're not perfect. Like, yeah. I got like, way too many skeletons in my closet right. to go pointing fingers at That's people. That's what I'm right. saying. I'm not going to judge anybody because everybody's a sack of shit in their own way. Right. Absolutely. We're everybody's all a loser in your own way, bro. It just depends on what demons you got. Right. Like, one of these, like, folks that's, like, some person in Hollywood or some person in entertainment yeah. uh, culture or whatever. It's like, bro... Uh, you're lucky that no one caught you in college doing the drugs that you were doing yeah, uh, right. because or else you'd get canceled from your job. Believe but that. are you talking about that? No, you're talking about mm -hmm. something that was said off the cuff Start like Kevin Hart 10 years ago. Homophobic things like, about his son right. 12 it years ago joke, on Twitter. You know? Yeah, that's, that's what, what I was the saying. The comedians having such a hard time, man. Uh, just a joke. And boom, he got hit. Yeah. Roseanne yeah. got blackballed. Yeah, hey. fucking got you hit. got uh, and I don't think comedians should be, you know, they're just trying to make jokes. Right. Like they're stupid all stupid fucking, you know, they yeah. want the laughs. Somebody. Exactly. Yeah. They want the fucking laughs. And they man. want you to think. That's yeah. the thing. Every stand up set, every movie that mm -hmm. like normal like a good quality movie that gets put out, there's an underlying message under there. Yep. And like God, God nine times that's in. God bless Dave Chappelle. God damn Because it. he <laughs> always had like even with the Chappelle show, Love. there's always an underlying Love. message to think about. Yeah. That you know I mean like that you know, America might be slightly racist at times, but you know what? For sure. We can still joke about it. We can laugh and Bro, have that we're skit not where nowhere I'm not trying to interrupt, we're not nowhere fucking near as racist as some other countries no. are. Right. There's some other countries out here oh, yeah. that are fucking brutal. Like Boko and Haram, not, they're just killing bro, people, I mean, thousands I'm of I'm not going to say most of the Middle East, but there's a shit ton of countries in the Middle East that are brutally racist. Oh, yeah. And it's blatant, and it's, like, legal. It's allowed. You're allowed to be racist. Well, it's like a, it's like an underlying, unsaid, unspoken thing. Right. You know? I have a lot of friends that are... Uh, I made a lot of Middle Eastern friends in college. Yeah. And I have one friend specifically... Uh, He's from Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. His whole family for the past five generations is Saudi Arabian. But one of his earlier ancestors 
is from um, what's this country just south Yemen. His Yemen. family's from Yemen, so he's not even Poor allowed. Yemen. He's Jesus not even allowed Christ. to join the military in Saudi Arabia because his family is not from the Saud Perfect. family. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, like he example. can't join the military. He can't serve perfect his country. Yeah. Which I mean, Saudi Arabia is a whole nother Eastern can of Europe, worms. Yeah. But <laughs> Eastern right. European countries were shit bags about it, and they still are. There's a lot of people, and like people are always saying about our immigration policies and things like this. It's easier to get in this country. It might take longer, but it's easier to get into this country than it is a lot of other countries. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're not just taking people in. No. They're like, get fucked. We can't even take care of our own people. You right. know, like right. Americans can't even go to Canada right yeah, exactly. now. Exactly. <laughs> like we're cut off from Canada. <laughs> we're cut off from Terrence and Phillip, bro. What kind of wanna, shit is I this? I want to go over anyway. Right. I've never yeah, been. Dude. I want to go. I want to. I want to check it out. I'm trying to run through the six of my woes. Go camping one time, you know. Yeah, go I'm trying, I'm trying to see uh, I'm, I'm out because I don't want to camp up there because the animals are way bigger. Dude, they're yeah. fucking I saw, terrible. That's I the saw, fun part of going camping up I there. Saw Mises a video. and mooses, bro. Hold on. <laughs> the Mises. Jamie, <laughs> the Mises. Jamie, pull this up real quick. Jamie, pull it up, bro. I'm going to show you guys a picture. Uh, there's an elk that was the size of an SUV Jesus. that I saw a picture of on the internet. Have you ever seen a fucking moose? They're enormous. They're they are huge. One they couldn't them. fit in this building. Mm, yeah, it'd be a tight squeeze. Maybe it was Not a moose. height. Wouldn't be as long, but it would definitely. Oh my god, dude, they're huge. I, I mean, know. that's like it a take it take a. That's like a SUV, and it's like over. And yeah. that's I, that's not even a bull. Right. Yeah, hey, that's that's, that's, a, that's, that's a not full size. Me and a buddy of mine, we were cruising through Jackson Hole, Wyoming, one time, right? Wyoming's crazy. Yeah. They got some crazy and then, animals and there, there, too. The elk there, man, you can see them just running in big herds. Are mule deer in Wyoming, too? Uh, yeah, they've got mule okay. deer. Okay, they're big. They're pretty, they they're pretty big. They there, right? Mule deer are pretty big, so too. So we're cruising through this little town trying to find a liquor store. Pull up to a red light. There's not another car on the road. There is two giant cow elks, female elks, mm -hmm. s standing at the crosswalk. Like, they're just waiting on the light to turn so they can walk across the street. <laughs> Jesus. And we pull up to it, roll the window down. And no shit, one of the one of them sticks their head inside my window. I was on the passenger Jeez. side. I couldn't help but to laugh. Right. Yeah. And she just like sniffed around, and then she pulled her head out. Light turned green, and we took off. But it was crazy as shit, wow. man. Wow. Head was like this yeah. goddamn massive, big. huge, bro. Massive. massive. Mises and mooses, bro. Like that, and you know, just to, I just want to put this point out there. It's the fact that like we're talking about an animal that's like, like five times the size of a human. Oh, bro. It's like, dude, so there is such a giant universe out there that exists unless you believe in flat earth yeah um, that you know <laughs> at the end of the day <laughs> you flat earthers you just stop at the end of the day like we are so small mm -hmm. but oh, like but our actions nothing. can create big waves in yes, in our yes. world and it's like we need to focus on that like the yeah. fact that like what we contribute at least make can it change the world the fuck we're here man jesus I if mean, everybody does just a little something Right. You know, Just do what's humanly right. right. Like that's all you gotta do. Dude, I challenge every viewer out every there. Every viewer. Before bro. you make your next post that's gonna be something where you're flaming one side or the other of the political yeah. spectrum. Save your time and just go do something for someone, mm -hmm. and see if you're live. If you're not as because Facebook pick up some trash. Right. Facebook's algorithms are designed to make you mad, like to to, to get you to click on more probably. things. Clickbait bullshit. Yeah, exactly. So get Stupid. off your phone, get off that, and go out into the world and just try to make it a better place. Like 100%. be the change you want to be. That's, That's what I always preach when I'm going make to a protest or something. Change. You just gotta be a little better. You know what I mean? Just do something in the real world, not in the digital world. Believe yeah. me, dude. That's real. That's real talk. So I'm gonna sound hey. real old and say that's what's wrong with kids nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> While shaking a fucking cane at you. Yeah, I mean, let me get my cane. Like, you can God. you can tweet a hundred things and that's not gonna change anything in the world. Yeah. You know what I mean? But one action can change someone's life. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. One nice action. Yeah, that's very true, man. I mean, you know. Hey, we saw it firsthand on our way back from Myrtle oh, Beach, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, a couple couple amazing ago. story. Guy yeah, had me hit. That. I was on, on, you know, dead to rights. He could have charged me $1,000 right. He could have smoked you for three stacks oh, right there, he baby. He could have hit you with Andre three stacks. No I fucking I couldn't question. have made it home. There's no way. We were yeah. hit. We'd have to stay there and the night, straight bro. straight up fixed me up, pulled a car out of the garage just to pull mine in there so he could get right to it. Fixed yeah. me up for free. Hey, shout out to road. Marlboro County, South Carolina. Absolutely. Leave that, bro. <laughs> Bo Marlboro Rose, boy. Let's go. Because that dude, dude. 
That was yeah. That that's one. Of the I've most... never had something like that happen to me before. Yeah. You know? I yeah. didn't cried. That shit was. It's crazy, like you man. hit like the good. karma lottery. Yeah. It was good. And it was crazy because <laughs> when my car fucked up, I literally I didn't have to turn or nothing. It was like three miles down the same yeah. road I was already on. Wow. It was we right pulled there. into like wow. a shell or something. Yeah. There was like a gas station. We went in there, and. I pulled up Google Maps or some somebody. We were we were carry. in somebody a bad was cell something. range, so yeah. we couldn't even get our maps it was, to work. It was Google Maps or something. The the one the closest one we found because the lady inside she said something about there's one up the road, but she didn't know exactly how far. And uh, so we looked, and it was like not even a mile or two. So literally on the same road, dude. Got right down there, and dude got him taken care of. It was awesome, man. You know that's you know I'm I don't want to get religious, yeah. but. There is ways that this world and universe work that are out of our control. Oh, yeah. And it's just really crazy how sometimes when you're in the right place doing the right things with your life and around the right people, that the world Positivity rewards breeds. you. Yeah, it Positivity, rewards bro. you eventually. Like, uh, you know, even my own life, I've had to make a conscious effort to, like, separate the bullshit from the real. Gotcha, and once bro. I started doing that, things start opening up. You know what yeah. I mean? And that's... And I, I wish I could preach. Out. There's so many people that struggle with like depression and things like that. And I understand sometimes there's like a chemical imbalance that could create yeah. some people don't issues. Produce enough right. dopamine, or their serotonin right. doesn't reset right. correctly. Right. right. There's actual mechanics, yes. wires in your brain essentially that do shut off yeah. and they deplete. But you can feed. You can literally you have can, you soul can, food. Like you're about to say, you can feed your brain. Yes. Just like you feed your stomach. And that's why they say, you know, your diet is a big part. You are what you eat. You know, the speed of the chicken, the agility of the fish, and right. the strength of the bull. You know, that's a, that's a real saying because right. yeah. it's real shit, you know? Yeah. If you and, eat garbage all the time, you'll feel like garbage. And, like, you know, I can't say shit because I've been slacking the right. past couple I months. I just ate a family-sized bag of funions, uh, <laughs> all right? Don't even talk to me. I've been slacking. <laughs> but I also feed my brain like crazy. I try to read a lot. I try to watch a lot of videos that are informative. I watch a shit ton of documentaries. I try to I try to feed my knowledge right. panel as much as I can. Right. You know, everybody and, should. Hey, yeah. since we were talking about food can i bring up the oh, fact of the day uh they let me do the fact of the day i let's was going go. i was about to say it earlier and i was like let's you know go. what that'd make a great fact uh so if y'all don't know me macaroni and cheese is like the biggest that's like jesus it's yes <laughs> like that's like the messiah yes like, i love some like, mac and cheese i always shut your poor mouth i always tell people <laughs> that like People say like, "Oh, I could eat macaroni for every meal." I can't rock And I'm like, no "Hold more, up, dude. motherfucker!" I can't do it. I'm like, "Hold." I'm not used to it. It's freaking me out. I'm sorry. Like, it's it's. I don't know, bro. It's freaking me out. <laughs> I'm so used to overhead earphones when I do this. I don't think I can ever do that again. That just freaks me out, bro. Uh, I feel like like Chris Berman, like ESPN style with a little thing. Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm a piece of shit. You can take so, it. Uh, sorry. Sorry. So so people say like, "Yeah, I could eat macaroni for every meal," and I'm like, "No, nah, motherfucker, I." do eat macaroni like <laughs> yeah. i love macaroni so the fun fact of the day yeah. is that macaroni and cheese the craft mm -hmm. brand every the blue box that america loves that american hitter it was invented uh during the great depression no shit and it was a food for the great depression fucking huh. go craft yeah. so you know what you macaroni know saves lives all right <laughs> that's a that. movement i'm getting behind <laughs> right cheese. now mac saves lives, lives. <laughs> matter motherfucker mac lives matter eat Hashtag your macaroni bitch. Hashtag. I mean, Velveeta is my bacon favorite. In mine. Oh yeah, my! Or, in there. dude, I know it sounds weird. A lot of people don't like it. I put a can of tuna in there too. So oh, who doesn't like tuna helper? Oh, oh man, go fuck your mother because tuna it's helper like is the fucking tuna girl. Girl. I, I, Dude, I love I, tuna helper. Uh, I, I like the little chicken ones too. You get yeah. the little can of chicken. I'll do Boom. some crab or some lobster. Burger, it, but dude, hey, that place in Huntington, L House, uh, L House. Yeah. Oh, their lobster mac's good. They're, uh, they got a, uh, a barbecue like chicken and like bacon mixed. mac and cheese. That's what's mm. up. All right, so I'm going to name, oh, uh, okay, right now. so let's, since we're keeping it, you know, about macaroni, <laughs> I'm going to let you guys know, um, macaroni. what was that barbecue place I said I had earlier? Smoking Jays. Smoking Jays has some dope. Um, mac and smoked cheese. mac and cheese. The yeah. Armory in Ironton has oh, yeah. great yeah. smoked mac well, and cheese. They actually got bar pulled pork in the yes. macaroni. Yes, oh my God, it's so, so good. You can taste the so. smoke. Yeah. Uh, L House has good macaroni, mm -hmm. and if you're just looking, KFC at, is the fucking move when it comes to macaroni. Uh, sir. Get out of here with that no, bullshit. KFC Mac disclaimer. What? 
I do not wow. condone the actions oh of Chick Fil A's. Uh, I say KFC. What what they donate oh to? God. But Chick Fil A's macaroni, hands down, is the best is fast it? food hey, macaroni. I'm with you there. Like I don't give yeah. a fuck about Chick Fil A. Yeah. I love their fucking chicken. Oh my wow. god, it's it's shit. God's chicken, man. I can't believe you guys. It's the old Jesus chicken. chicken. I, I can't believe I'm alone. I didn't right need now. it for so long because I, I wasn't in support of what they do. I know a lot of people like that, and I I totally get it. You know what I mean? But God, I'm with you. Dang, man. There's some. You know, wow. I don't believe in all that shit. Right. The fat man, man inside me good. won't allow it. There's yeah, chicken's good. I, yeah, I can't. The Lord's just drop chicken past will there. prevail. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't believe you sons of bitches didn't see it. Said KFC's mac and cheese wasn't the no. goat. Uh, no, 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 it's no. the goat. No. Not even close. Oh my god. I'll take Golden Corral's Bro. macaroni over KFC's macaroni. What the? Yeah, and I don't like oh. it either. <laughs> <laughs> right. No. I can't the golden you. trough. No. Well, you just suck, bro. You just take it yeah, easy, guy. I, I don't know. I we, don't know. Yeah, we don't know about you, guy. I don't, I don't know, though, I don't man. Know I'd probably from. say, mm. I mean, honestly, we're just talking straight up, bro. I mean, Velveeta is always my move, bro. I mean, I, I think I think Velveeta, Velveeta has bro. changed. Over the, now, the white cheddar is fucking I've eaten good, a lot. too. It used to be the a lot stronger. Good. The, the ch- like, the cheddar used to be stronger, I yeah. think, in Velveeta. Now it's a little... It's not I a like strong white cheddar Velveeta and the skillet case back Oh, oh no, that. The bacon in it. Oh. Yeah. Nobody else in the house liked it. I ate every fucking bit. Shit, fucking you didn't call oh. me up. <laughs> hey, I know now. Let's go. Honestly, I had a hard time putting all of it down. Yeah. Oh, We're man. talking about noodles and fucking just getting fat. Let's talk about some baked spaghetti, motherfucker. How about oh, baked? Spaghetti? How about baked ziti? My first EP I dropped Ooh. three years ago. Yeah, I tell you right now, my wife in there makes some great. Uh, like pizza baked spaghetti. Oh, I know. She made like fun. She made fun. Uh, my dad died. Dog. I was a happy oh, 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 oh yeah, that's my and my dad does so it. Put, put it in the oven and bake it. Put some pepperonis oh, on top man. of it. Baked spaghetti is the move. What I like to eat, man. It's amazing. It's I'm not move, 400 pounds. Bro. One it's of my move. aunts, uh, she makes uh, like, and she's a she's a black lady, so she cooks soul food. <laughs> so she uh, makes that good food. She makes her lasagna with like cottage cheese in it. And yeah, it yeah. is so I'm good. I'm not a big fan of lasagna, yeah, man. A lot I don't of people know why. Do. That's, I think that's really, how you're it's actually not lasagna. lasagna. It's not my jam, dude. And the only reason I don't like it is just because it usually has ricotta in it, and I don't yeah. like what? ricotta, Oh, bro. I love stuffed I shells like or, it, like, baked ziti stuffed with, like, ricotta. I like stuffed shells, but oh, not with ricotta. I, I love it. I a bunch it. of different shit in it. I like oh. stuffed peppers, too, yeah. but I don't like ricotta, bro. It so you don't like it. cottage cheese either, then, nope. probably. My dad loved it, bro. That motherfucker would get it with peaches and shit. I don't so eat, I don't eat always it try just to eat it. cheese, I, but, I like, like it, bro. in a pasta bowl, dude. That motherfucker could get the little plastic containers of the fucking cow, smash it on it, bro. It's actually really good for you. Yeah. I'm just good on the fungus, bro. I'm, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want the, I don't want the dirty, dirty cheese, boy. See, I'll eat cottage cheese, but Oof. I don't eat mushrooms. I'll eat mushrooms Ugh. on a burger like with Swiss cheese only. No. A mushroom Swiss burger is the move, but that's about it. I don't that's why. That's I'll why. Only mush- only I'll, shrooms I fuck with. Yeah, yeah. I only eat mushrooms. <laughs> they taste bad. They taste real bad. You gotta throw up. But it's yeah, just you, all bad. I'll force those Your down. shits are the I'll worst. Force them bad boys in. Yeah. Well, you get some food with it. You're straight. I mean, it's the worst piece know. of pizza I ever ate in my life. Oof. Jesus Christ. I just enjoyed the next five, six hours, though. <laughs> right. Just thinking about it, bro. But that's the thing. Like I said, the mushrooms with me, bro, is like mushroom Swiss burger only, medium well. It's got to be juicy when I get that shit. Ugh. And that's, you don't like medium well burgers? I don't like mushrooms. Okay, 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 okay. That's okay. Oh. I'll, I'll allow the mushrooms. The medium, now. now medium well is the burger now, all day, I bro. think it was, uh, I think, I think it was uh, Anthony Bourdain who said, I, I think he said at one point in one of his shows, yeah, RIP to a R. legend. R.I.P. fucking Pete. Uh, legend, super bro. legend. Uh, he super said dope. That, he said it's, it, it's un-American to not be allowed to order a burger medium well. 100%. You should, you should be allowed <laughs> yes. to order a medium rare if you want. Yeah, if you want. If you want. want. That's I mean, I'm it. not going to eat it's, a medium rare. I mean, rare. I eat my steak medium rare. Yeah, I eat my steak medium rare, but What's I'm not going to eat a burger. Man, beef, it, like, the beef for burger is different, bro. I feel like the way it's processed or something, it freaks me out. I don't know. It just freaks <laughs> me out, dude. Dude, I will say. It's like, I could, I could fucking, like, people who eat raw burger and shit, you're a fucking savage. You are a beef real tartar. Sa- yeah, that's, that's some bullshit right there. I know motherfuckers eat raw bacon, too. That's like, you're a shit. fucking brutal dude, motherfucker. I will say, dude. when I was. I can't do that shit. Dude. When I was, bacon, good, when I was in the desert no. out in California, I drove past the first uh, mass farm mm-hmm. that i've ever seen in my life and yeah. honestly like because i saw some other free range farms where like ho- like like horses and cows were on the yeah. hillsides 
and stuff. But when I saw that like mass produced place, factory farming, I was man. like, oh, yeah. like I really like felt a certain type of way when I saw. Right, why do you think about West's vegans and shit, dude? It's it's really ugly. Like I'm not gonna Brutal. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna become a vegetarian Fair or a enough. vegan, but. Damn. But I, I mean, like, I will support local butchers and local sure, farms for sure. Moving Absolutely. forward, my thing is, bro, is like it, the only way I'll get become, a lot better meat that way too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The quality. It go through the chain of all the yeah, process right. and, and all that. You get that Joe Exotic like, special out there, boy, with that <laughs> hitter from Walmart. You <laughs> oh, feel me? Oh, the Walmart truck. But not nah, like I was saying though. It's like, uh, uh, shit. What were we talking about? We're talking about the free range farm. I had a good point. Oh, the veganism. Okay, so I could become a vegetarian or a vegan if I absolutely had to in the situation of, like, Kevin Smith. He had the widow make her heart attack, oh. straight should have died, and right. then his daughter begged him to become a, 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 a vegan, so he did. Right. In that situation, you got me. I mean, I understand If my it. kids ask me to do something to live longer to be there for them, I got you. Absolutely. Now, any I other circumstance, that. Right. your boy likes some pulled pork every once that's and again. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's, every that's once and again, I, I like to get down on the pork. I, I don't like to a lot. You, but every once in a while, I'm going to have some cheat days. Believe that. I'm going to have to believe go get a barbecue that. sandwich or a know, burger, a right. cheeseburger or something. something. You but know. you get sick, though. I've had friends you that will. have gone vegan. If you become vegan, if you your, eat that your meat, shit is not used to it. They said, like, some of my friends told me the only meat they could eat once they were on that diet was, like, seafood. Yeah, because seafood, it's like seafood, the yeah, like pescatarians, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's 100%. I can fuck with that. I can, I can fuck with that diet. Dude, I, just I love fish. this. Shrimp. I can't do this that, is man. good, bro. Salmon, tuna. I, I, I can fuck with all of them. Tuna. I love crab. I can, I can do down some crab. I love some bro. old school man. salmon patties. Ooh, bro. Um, yeah. I, <laughs> that's how I embrace my inner white trash right there, son. My mom be making the flat ones, babe. We get the sandwiches. That shit was awesome. You could eat macaroni every meal. I could eat a cheeseburger for every meal. I like Kevin Smith had the Widowmakers, what he said. He said back in the day, always filming. They'd just always get little right. burger joints and shit, and they'd be filming and stuff, or he'd be directing or whatever the hell he was doing, and he would always eat burgers. And right. that's why he always wore the hockey shit, because it didn't make him look as fat as right. he actually was. Right. So, like, he always rocked those when he was ta- he was on JRE talking about it and stuff. And, uh, yeah, man, he, he like, because of his daughter and that heart attack, man, that's what changed him. And I, I was will like, s- I would I mean, do I that it. if I, I that was the circumstance. Me, bro. Absolutely. For sure. If we're going to talk about hamburgers, well, though. I'll be I- sneaking off to, like, White Castle or something <laughs> in the middle of the night. <laughs> I will say, uh, for local food, mm-hmm. uh, have you guys eaten a Bonhoeff in nope. Huntington? Mm-hmm. Nope. It's a German style. I've heard about it. I know. Okay. It's the so German you, restaurant. I, mean, I know two people that work there, man. Oh, I love I Their food's people. so good. I took a risk, because normally when I get a cheeseburger, I just get, like, cheese and ketchup only. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm very basic. But, I love onion lettuce. But something like, you know, their, something simple. Their house burger... Hat was like it's got like a aioli sauce on it, never heard and it, and it's got arugula I on it or something it. like that. You're, you're an and it is bro. like the savage. fanciest burger. I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna <laughs> like it. And they have like this like like uh, sweet kind of like a uh, turmeric ketchup mm-hmm. that they serve with it. Yeah. I didn't think I was like, you know what. I'm getting to the point where I gotta start trying stuff. I'm an adult. Believe that. I'm gonna try. <laughs> it. I'm gonna try it because it might be good. And I will tell you what, the house burger at Bonhoeff and Huntington. Fire. It is. It, it, it changed. I was like, man, this is this is the way, man. Like, like this trying new way. food. You know, what I mean, like too many people never try things in yeah. life. Like, dude, try I, it. you're preaching I that. everything I preach right now. I preach to these guys. <laughs> I preach to everybody. Try shit, man. I make my kids try See, stuff. You have to. I'm pretty picky about what I'll eat. But it's because I've already tried a lot of shit. I know what Try I like. Try it again. Right. You know what Try I mean? Try it again, motherfucker. When I know I, what I like. I know what I don't like. When know? I was in California, I got to try Hawaiian food for the first time. Oh, that's yeah. sick. Yeah, I had like this oh, yeah. um, like slow-cooked pork with rice and like this cabbage Ooh. salad. And then I didn't like, like egg rolls, cabbage. bitches. Have let's have, go. Have you been to Hawaii? No, man. Okay. Actually, I Hawaii. actually almost got to go to Hawaii. I had my orders and everything, and then something happened with my paperwork. Fucked it up, oh, and I man. lost my slot, and I ended up going to goddamn Fort Stewart, Georgia instead. Oh, shit. So I went from getting ready to go to Hawaii to going to Georgia. <laughs> I didn't know. I was very upset. I, I didn't know that ramen was such a big thing in Hawaii, yeah, but it is. Spam. Yeah, really? spam and ramen. No shit. Spam, yeah. Yeah, I tried some ramen from that Hawaiian place. Dude, and I'll tell you what. I, like, I mean, it's very filling. It's it cheap, is, so it makes sense. Dude, like, the, whole, makes sense. the whole Hawaiian cuisine, like, I understand why these dudes... That be coming from Hawaii playing football are just Believe like that. huge yeah. people the because rock. I I paid fifteen dollars for a box meal and ramen mm-hmm. and I ate a third of the box and like a fifth of the ramen and was full <laughs> nice. like there's just too much food like yeah. I couldn't even finish it. Dope. Good food though. Try Hawaiian food. 
<laughs> fucking it reminds me of this thing. Uh, it was, uh, I think it was Tom Segura was talking about it and Burt Kreischer. And I think Norm MacDonald was with them or something. They go out there and they're talking. Or maybe, it might have just been Tom and Burt. They were talking about they were in uh, Hawaii or whatever. And they said that the guy who was like the promoter or the manager would tell ever, he was like, okay, look, before you go out here, don't say anything about the local culture or they'll beat the shit out of you. Like, this, <laughs> they take the shit real serious. Like, this is, yeah. he goes out there and he was like, damn, I didn't know all you guys were super fat out here in Hawaii. <laughs> oh, like, whoa, whoa, like, brother. He, he, <laughs> <laughs> he fucking, bro. He's like they fucking. He said he bombed real hard and shit. I can't remember if it was just Tom and Bert, but the, you can look it up, dude. And it was on a podcast I was watching, and you. It made me think of that when you're talking about the fucking like Hawaiian culture and stuff. It's fucking hilarious if you haven't watched it, and the story's fucking great, man. But like, and I guess Norm McDonald. Yeah, I fucking love Bert and Tom anyway. I love them. There's two bears, one cave. Their podcast. Yeah. I fucking love it. Well, who's the Bert guy? Bert Kreischer. The machine. Oh wait, the, the machine. machine. Yeah. The machine. The machine. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check that out then because he's a funny dude. Two bears, one cave. Yeah. Uh, but back to the Norm McDonald thing. There was another story that somebody was telling. It might have been Tom and Bert again because they used they toured with him a couple times or something, or they were on the road with him or some shit. Um, but I guess they were at like a family <laughs> event. Like it was like a. Not a family event, but, like, not a crazy comedy show or whatever. So he was like, I guess Tom did his set or Bert did his set, and they go up there or whatever. Norm comes on. And for those who don't know who Norm McDonald is, he's in Billy Madison. He's the pigeon in Mike Tyson's Mystery Stories or whatever it was, the cartoon. Uh, he's in everything, bro. He's awesome. He's a super hilarious comedian. So Norm goes out there, and he's like, yeah, he's like, I wonder why... Uh, I never understood why the receiver of the gay guy, why would he ever pick that? He's just getting rammed in the ass all day, and he starts, oh like, God. going on these tangents about gay guys and stuff, and it's fucking brutal, man. But it's hilarious. You guys need to check it out, man. It's fucking funny. Anybody I, out there who's watching, definitely check it out, too. I got a question. Funny. Can like Because uh, Chris just had, you know, surgery. Can you drink right now? Yeah. I'll take well, shot. technically, I'm, get... on, I'm on blood thinners right now. <laughs> oh, shit. But you can't get, like, shitty. But if we... I'm going to drink, I just won't take tonight's Can we have, like, thinners? a sip yeah. of that Maker's in there? Bro, when in Kentucky. Let's go. Like, I'm in Bro, Kentucky. I'm glass. a Buckeye let's, in Kentucky. It's episode 50, bitches. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Maker's, baby. Let's go. Now, the last time I drank glasses, Maker's whatever, dude. with that man Maybe over there... Chase. <laughs> I was seeing double. Hey, I, had a I great was. Time that night. Oh, I, I had, had a great, great time too, but I couldn't. I passed out right over there that night. <laughs> right at four o'clock in the morning. I don't oh know what the fuck God. I was doing. I, I was came, the house I came doing out something. here. I don't even know. Sat in the stool, and the next thing I know, it's seven thirty in the morning. There's no and shot I got glasses. My head on the desk. Just one. That one and those two. Just uh, get I don't. Big boy don't give me the dirty dirty, um, bro. So wash them bitches out, bro. No. I just want to say that I miss Pump House. Uh, what happened? Is it yeah, what happened? Like, it's just you know with COVID everything oh, just yeah. it's just word, all word. died down. But is one? oh, I'm definitely uh, we're 100 percent taking some shots. We need three shot glasses ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jamie. One, Jamie, <laughs> let's go, Mickey, my fucking guy. All right, you want to pour them up? Or you want yeah, to I'll, pour them, I'll pour them. I'll pour them for you. Oh, the no, almost dropped that. Lord. I'm taking out the shit. bottle, dog. I'm good. The alcohol will kill the germs. Yeah, let's just lick the a, dust off that shit. joint, too. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it up. Yeah, Fuck it, just pour me a there's fucking shot, money. bro. I really don't even care, bro. I literally don't even care. Woo. Careful Damn, with Damn, he's getting a heavy hand. <laughs> Sorry. Are you left-handed? I'm not left-handed. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. <laughs> he's dropping <laughs> a lefty on his iron softball style, son. Bourbon's made to sip anyway, so you don't have to, like, shoot it, no, right? No, I'm shooting it. We're shooting it. Oh, yeah. We're Private big, Miller big in the fucking right. What you mean, All right. bro? Well, we're taking a shot. Hey, Give me that one. Oh, look at <laughs> oh, him. He guy. looked at him. He went for the fucking, the long one, baby. Hey, that's what All they right. say, right? <laughs> episode 50, together motherfucking. This is where it goes downhill, F-T-R, this episode. Oh, baby. Let's go. For 50. Damn, there's some floaters in this joint. Let's go. Woo. God, I love it. Woo. Oh. I couldn't finish it, but I'm going to finish it right now. Woo! Feels like Kentucky in here. Oh, yeah. <sighs> leave them cookies for Captain America, bitch. Oh. And you better leave some fucking bush light out for Kid Rock. Oh. God damn. Woo! Oh. <laughs> How do we just keep ca- passing that bottle back and forth that night, man? Ooh. I don't know. 
<laughs> oh, no. Dude, we were was, drinking it like so water. Drunk. We killed it too. <laughs> yeah. We killed that bottle that night. I drank a couple nights ago. Wow. I drank Buffalo Trace. I got shitty. Oof. I got Whoa. shitty. That's why I haven't, I haven't drank since then. I'm like, man, I gotta, I gotta take it easy, bro. I got shitty. Hey, I want to just say a shout out to my boy Matt Carter. Shout out to Matt Carter, bro. High life in the building. Shout out to Matt Carter, baby. Uh, I wanted to talk about some local music. Let's go. Um, there's a couple bands that I think are really dope to check out besides you know what i'm involved in for sure uh ona if you're into like like a laid back kind of like um sounds it's got like some hints of southernness too but it's mm. very they're very indie they got like a great like just like whatever you think of indie rock right now is mm-hmm. like they've got it down Word. their singer's really talented their whole band's talented um and then there's another band from lexington that i really love um have you guys seen the movie blow of yeah, course. of course. <laughs> George Young. Okay, so there's a band from uh, Lexington called Johnny Conqueroo. Okay. Um, they play music that I swear to God, like, belonged on the movie Blow. Nice. Yeah. Like, their music is like, they, they're they a three-piece band. Just I drummer. Three pieces. Yeah, just a drummer. Just literally literally just talking night. about three pieces Drummer, night, bass player, and the lead singer plays lead guitar. Sick. That's and awesome. they, like, I went to their album release this past fall, and... I mean, they sh- they get the crowd into a frenzy, and they just have this eclectic, old school surf rock, Sick. punk kind of grungeous, grungeous sound. Yeah, and it's just like I don't know. It's they're a great band. Check out Johnny Conqueroo and check out Ona, and my boy Matt Carter is going to be coming out with some stuff here soon. So stay yeah. tuned to Carter Boy, um, and you know. Like I said, Building Rockets, we're about to be coming out with some music mm-hmm. uh, soon. Private Million Star Shooter is about to start on our first full studio album. I'm talking like Sick. 10 songs. Uh, it's going to be, I can't wait for, I can't wait for shows to start coming back. Yeah. yeah. Like, what are we going to do if nothing, like every, I hope to God that everything returns to normal. I don't think I it will, think man. It. I, I don't think it will. Just, Not for a long time. Dude, they're bro. already talking about the, when the kids go back to school this year that they're going to be having to wear masks half and, and half shit. Half and shit. Oh they're talking God. about some weirdo yeah. shit. I might just homeschool my kid, bro, for we real. We were talking about the same thing. I trying don't know, to dude. Shit's weird right now. Toss that idea around on whether we want to homeschool or try to Bro, and, send them back. and the thing about it is, too, that's so shitty is like, it might come back to normal one day, bro. But like I've told people, and the way I've explained COVID is like, man, it's like the new flu. Think yeah, about how people yeah. reacted when the flu came around. Fucking right. terrified. People yeah. were dying. Shit's fucking shit up. You're murdering us. But they, we were much, you know, we were much more simple back then. Yeah. Like, things are fucking rampant but now, shit dude. Shit wouldn't spread as easy as it was back then. Yeah. You know? Now, People were more spread out. and shit like Everybody that. Everybody's stacked yeah. on top of each like other. Crazy. New York, L.A., bro, you got shit like that. Yeah. You know, everybody's on top of each other. It's all the time, man. So you don't have a chance. Dude, there was, uh, like, literally everywhere I went in L.A., if you didn't have a mask on, like, they, were, they really? told you, like, it was like... If you're coming in, have a mask. If you don't have your mask on, it's like you can't be here. Believe right. that. And I mean, it was like it was a good time to be in LA because it was like really dead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, but like it was still there was places that there was restaurants open, so I got to do the chill part Sick. of it. So, but it was still really odd to see like so many places closed yeah. in yeah. a major yeah, I city. I saw pictures of uh, Vegas, the Strip in Vegas. It's like, probably shut, desolate. Dude, it was a ghost town. That's crazy. Like, and it's never looked like that. It's like purgatory since it and started, shit, bro. You know, right. Since Vegas was built. It's never looked that way. That's crazy. It looked like, you know, Five O Goes West type shit, bro. Yeah. Tumbleweeds. Like tumbleweeds rolling yeah, through. I mean, like, and dogs you saw shooting fucking revolvers Pictures of cities where the wildlife started coming in. Right. Again, you know? And the dolphins it, were yeah. swimming back in the fucking yeah, lodge. The canals, like, yeah, yeah. the canals. Yeah. Dolphins just going down Main yeah. Street. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 fucking blue whales floating. It's got fucking whales out here. Sharks chilling. Street sharks out here. Street beating sharks. Beating out motherfuckers and shit. <laughs> Taking your lunch money, taking your bitch, let's go. <laughs> All I'm saying is uh, the comic book we're working on, though. So sick. I think it's perfect for the times so we're going through. It really is. Like, well, that's why we gotta drop this shit like ASAP, and these motherfuckers gotta buy it, bro, yes. so we can drop more, man, and invest in it more, you know? It's uh, such a cool thing to be a part of. I seriously can't <laughs> fucking wait for people to read this story because it's so awesome. Yeah. So awesome, bro. Like, I cannot wait. It's gonna be super you, awesome. You know what? Something I wanted to, you know, talk about today, too, mm-hmm. was like the fact that, like, because I keep going back to art and, you know, of course. Um, I think that the comic that we're working on is going to be great for the time that we're going through right now. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I think that, like, I really hope that uh, in the movies and with the, like, uh, digital video art, I really hope some directors really start at tackling the social issues and the crises that we're going Spike through Lee right style, now. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm sure some will. 
Well, some will. Some are going to be scared. Nolan you know, they're going to stay Spike Spike Lee. in their comfort zone. And right. This and that. Um, but I'm sure some of them definitely will. Because, like, I mean, yeah, you, you guys know, zone, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. We haven't talked course. about Star Wars nearly enough yet, in my <laughs> yeah, opinion. Yeah, I mean, we got Darth Maul Vader behind us. They'll, you know, they'll, they'll bring this up. But, you know, us. George Lucas had a genius idea of, like, you know, I'm going to create the Empire. Yeah. And it was literally a like direct... pretty much. Yeah, it was a Communism. direct like line to like oppression and tyranny mm-hmm. from a government yeah and i you know i just i can't rebel scum bro. i I'm really scum hope I there's some more movies that come out that are have that underlying message of like what's yeah. right and wrong because well, you got like, avatar 2 coming out and that's super fucking environment yeah. based oh, like yeah. it's like pocahontas in space yeah. you know what i mean like it's like pretty yeah. much like you yeah, got it really is you, yeah space and honest bro you got like <laughs> Because you got to think, you got people, and it's always like that in indigenous things, like indigenous people who are in this area, let's go like rape and pillage them and take all their shit. It's, it's been, been like that we, yeah. humanity, bro. Yeah, all through. So it's just fucking, it's so shitty, man. Me and, really uh, me and city councilman Jacob Hawk uh, were talking yesterday um, about how there's a lot of people hey, calling. Drink, bro? I'm thirsty. There's a lot of people Thank calling you. for like anarchy right now. And we, so they know what anarchy means? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That brings us they, to one of the topics they, they I have don't next. Understand. They're not ready. No, anarchy. no. You don't want anarchy. That's how war... Like, literally... You want anarchy, sorry to interrupt, if you're a bachelor who has no grandma, no aunt, no kids, no nothing. If you are a single man who has no family, you want anarchy. If you got a grandma down the road, you better be at her house every fucking day or they're kicking her door in, raping right. her, and taking all of her shit. Right, yeah. exactly. Serious shit. That's how no warlords joke, take power. Like, right. I was like, literally... Look at fucking uh, Hotel Rwanda and Yeah, shit like look that. at Africa. Serious, There's a bro. Like... The lack of government is not the answer right, right. now. The UN can't do shit. They try to go in there and they just end up fucking more shit up. You well, can't trust them. in Seattle. Seattle. You know? Yeah. Perfect fucking example. You know, you got people like, historically, like a Pablo Escobar. He shows how much, like, you can, like, when the government's weak, there's going to be a power that's going to take control. Now, whether or not that power is good or bad... You yeah. know, they're going to take control. Pablo right. Escobar, all he had to do was be a good guy to the people. Bro, I was pro Pablo. Like, a... I wish that motherfucker would have won, dude. Like, fuck Colombia. Like, I wish he would have taken over. Those, yeah. those piece of shit politicians, not all of them deserve to die, but fuck those guys. He was trying to do good shit. The only reason, if you watch the documentaries, you watch some of the shit, granted, he was a bad motherfucker, and he was, you know, providing and selling dope and stuff. But at the same time, he was doing a lot of good shit for his country, man. And it wasn't until they started fucking with him, pushing him back, doing all this, blah, blah, blah. That's when that motherfucker started bombing people and, like, murdering right. people and shit and started killing politicians. It's like the different, like, the question is, though, it's like. I'm going to be how, hated for that, but I do not care. I mean, it, <laughs> we're talking about Pablo, and, you know, he can have a bad light shown on him, mm-hmm. but it's like, he what has all, light what has every other government done? Believe that. That He's is just, just as equally else. bad. Exactly. It's, yeah. it's, it's power. So if we have anarchy. <laughs> You better get ready for like Mad Max Some style. Wild, wild, wild like shit, you better bro. get your guns and mount up because it's not gonna be the. It's not gonna be this like you utopia. Need your last talk. Right. It's not gonna be a utopia. It's gonna be a <laughs> fucking shit show if we Believe have anarchy. Absolutely. Like Absolutely. if you have a grandma or grandpa yeah. or an I've auntie, seen, love. I've s- been to other countries where it's just it's a shit show mm-hmm. and it's the fucking wild wild west and no. the American population is not ready for some shit. No, no. hell no. A bubble we'll be here. tweeting about like, oh my god, there's bandits I mean, in my <laughs> city. Just, what yeah. do I do? Just yeah. you know, this whole out, uh, this COVID thing started and goddamn, we were out of toilet paper like that. Boom. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, I've been to countries Fucked. where they don't even give a shit about toilet paper. They wipe their ass with their hands. Right. You that. know, that's that's the real, toilet paper is the least to their fucking problems. Invest in a bidet. You know, yeah. <laughs> we, we, we can't even function without toilet paper in this yeah. country, so they're not ready for some no. shit like Motherfuckers' that. Wi-Fi go out and everybody falls to oh, shit, right? yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's the real, power dude. goes out for a couple everybody's days. Everybody's scared. And, yeah, everybody's losing like, oh, their God. minds. You turn your lights out, you'll see who survives, bro. Right. You know what I mean? Right. It's scary shit. It's real, though. And remember earlier when I was talking about, like, that rich guy who's, like, driving, a around, a Ferrari, yeah, yeah. driving a Ferrari around? That guy, it doesn't matter how much money he right. has. Oh, Someone smoked. like that's not going to be ready for what can happen. Because, you know, it takes grit. It takes tenacity. Like, like that's the thing. It like, takes fucking the barter system. Survivability. The barter system. It takes land. You have to have things that are tangible, not right. paper, bro. And you got to be productive. If shit is the fan, you got to have land, yeah. livestock, At real shit. At least fucking skill. Something. Yeah. you got to be able you to gotta kill gotta motherfuckers. Tactically, you got to be smart. you got to be a fucking map builder. you got to be something that you can do shit, right. engage shit. Shit that actually has... Has a real purpose. tangible purpose to right. what the you know the causes or whatever it may be. Yeah. So all you guys calling for anarchy in this country You're right fucking now? Fucking stupid. 
Chill the fuck out. Calm your tits. <laughs> yeah, for real. Calm your tits. Like, like, calm, smoke a joint and calm the dude, fuck down. Calm the fuck yes. down. Take a, take a fucking chill pill, baby. Take a shot of fucking Maker's Mark. <laughs> Shit is crazy out here, boy. I can't deal with it. But that's what brings me to my next thing. And, like, you know, I don't want to get crazy deep on it. We'll save it for another episode because it's, it's its own episode and it's fucking self. But this comes into the whole police defunding, police hate, uh, no law and order, no none of this, no none of that, blah, 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 and all this shit. If you have no police, you have anarchy. You, we do not want that. We no, don't want that, man. We don't need vigilantes. No, right. we don't right. need no fucking half-assed Batmans using hockey masks right. and it's shit. It's not going like, to be anybody worth a shit. No. It's going to be a bunch of fucking trailer park people. Believe right. that. You know what I mean? That's nobody's be... a, nobody's very, no, nobody that's actually vigilant. There's going to be fucking shit show bastards just coming out here. Wearing hockey pads, trying to fucking show out. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, get real, dude. And what, what we need to do, it's not so much, like, stop focusing on defund the police, and let's figure out ways that we can fund more mental health uh, programs to actually things. help. Yeah. Let's figure out what the fuck's wrong with the VA that's been broken for fucking years. For real. And you well, you're telling me. Yeah. yeah. I already you, know. And you got to think, too, me. with the whole police hate thing, Dude, nobody's gonna fucking be a cop anymore. Like that's over. Like yeah. nobody, no, but you're not gonna have kids that's wanting a big to grow up across cops. the country right now. It's man. done, Keep... bro. People are quitting. People right. are done. And I'm not sitting here saying that there's not some shit bad cops out here because there 100 percent is. I mean, there is but everywhere you go. Everywhere you go, it don't yeah. matter most what it the, is. Most of the cops, especially all the ones I know, man, they're yeah. good stand up people. Yeah, they're not they're bad. Just they're doing not their bad damn dudes, job, man, or right. trying to get home at the end of the day like they're everybody right, else is. They take shits just like we do. Minimum wage. Nine dollars an hour, yeah. bullshit ass little wages, bro. I, for I, I a serious a, job. I had a theory. Uh, I was talking to uh, Councilman Jacob about, and it was like, no, this is just an abstract thought I had. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think what some of the problem with the policing in this country comes down to that it's too like. I'm gonna sound slightly Leninist, I guess, or like kind of like in favor of communism, but I'm yeah. not. Um, I am. I think that like like when you when someone commits a crime in the military, yeah, you go through like a tribunal, I think, yeah. and you get court martialed possibly, and it's very yeah, it's called UCMJ, Uniform Code of Military Jags, Justice. Right? Well, JAG is the lawyers. Okay, so mm. you have like their like their system, like you're at, held to a higher standard Degree. than well, anyone. Just, yeah. Yeah. Like they're analyzing everything, and the reason I think it's like that is because the military is a nationalized unit Mm -hmm. i think the problem is is like a lot of police forces across the country are it's all splintered all the way down to local county city do this you got sheriffs to do one thing and Uh your police departments to do another thing but here's what here's here's the rebuttal that people are going to say with what you just said one about the whole the 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 view of now you're militarizing the police now we're going to have an organization like the un you never get to trust the people they're doing this yada 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 but if you talk about the way you're doing it, it's actually legit. It's just with all the people who are the ones who have the checks and balances process, they're the ones that fuck right. it up. Because yeah. not it, people like because us. what if here's the problem? If some if a cop pl- commits a crime in a local jurisdiction, there might be a DA that caters towards the and police right. force. Probably right. friends now, with that motherfucker. Now you take that cop right. out of that situation and you put him somewhere else in the country where he has to stand trial to it with a district attorney or someone who's not even who connected exactly at all in that case is going to come out a lot different that's how than the people that you know a bad idea really to like make the like the police force a national entity like the military yeah yeah it would they're all trained up the same way right like a standardized version but, of right. the police, but not then, this local. Yeah. Go to a community college for like half a year. To something like that, though, man. It would, it'd, it'd, be, it'd be crazy. It'd, never yeah. work. it'd take another hundred years. They to fucked up from the beginning, all. I think. And That's yes, the problem. Yes, and it would <laughs> never work because there's too many state-governed uh, things, policies, yeah. and laws. Because you yeah. have too many. This guy in Kentucky is trained completely different than this guy in Ohio. This shitbag in wherever is way. Shittier than this guy because yeah. he wasn't trained like right. this guy in Wisconsin yeah. or this guy in yeah. Nevada or whatever the hell. Yeah. So it's very state governed thing. So I think it would never right. work. But on a national scale, if we could do something like that, it's fucking brilliant. Yeah, because like Ironton cops, for what I know, because I'm from Ironton, Ohio, Ironton cops were never taught the stop and frisk laws that were or like procedures that mm-hmm. were in like New Jersey, New York, California, right. yeah, yeah, Chicago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They don't have that stop and frisk, right. you know, thing. But that would be the big problem with it is, uh, you know, you got the different areas that would have to gear training towards different things. Yeah. Like the cops here 
don't have to deal with the same kind of crap that a New York cop would have right. to deal Chicago with. Chicago you know or I mean? right. LA so, or whatever. But think right. about you have military experience. You can take, you know, a group of 50 troops, uh, like a battalion or something, and that battalion can be deported, or not deported, but like shipped to any situation and adapt. Yeah. And, and they know he how to go adaptable. about it. You know what I mean? Like the military, like they know, okay, you could go from Kosovo. You, like I have family members that might have served in Kosovo, uh, and then he was in Desert Storm. Two completely different situations, right. but that whole unit still knows how to handle each situation because their training is so thorough. Yeah, that's. I think it comes down to training. Like it, it's all it about situational it. I mean, training. Ninety percent yeah, at a lot least. Ninety percent. Like, I know that like Navy SEALs will literally for like two years practice like one scenario that's going to go down. Like they know every single second of how a, a mission is supposed to go down. And they will mm-hmm. train for that situation, and then finally, the, you know. They'll go on that situation, yeah. and it goes down flawless because they've trained for it. If X, Y, and Z goes wrong, they know how to handle it. Right. Like these cops need to know how to de-escalate situations, get down to the brass tacks of the law of what laws are being broken, and how to move forward and you know prosecute. Not you don't even prosecute them. Just if they're if they're committing something that's an arrestable offense, mm-hmm. arrest them. If it's something. Like what George Floyd died over, which was like a twenty dollar counterfeit bill, that use of right. force should never be escalated more no. than right. all right. You're you know here's your ticket. Mm-hmm. Um, you're going to be summoned to court. The judge is going to figure out right. if you're right mm-hmm. or wrong. It, you know? This like instant justice of killing people is not going to work. This instant you know? like let's escalate the situation is not helping. Right. It's not helping there's no, anyone. Yeah, there's no need for that. It doesn't help. It really is. Doesn't help the cop. It doesn't help the innocent bystanders. It no. doesn't help the possible uh, suspect or victim, depending on if they're innocent or guilty. Right. Yeah. You know, what I mean, it, that's like it's just training. Like I think we should have cops do two year degree. And also, you have to think about this. What the fuck is a cop's job? Name the description of a cop's job. Because you're about to name a hundred things. Oh These yeah. These motherfuckers yeah. saving cats out of trees and shit, bro. What yeah. is a cop's actual description? What is his job title? What is he supposed to do? Enforcer of law. I don't think, law. exactly. It's not supposed to be a, de- if there's going to be a defunding, there should be a, not defunding, but a more focused tunnel vision idea of what a police officer is supposed to right. do right. in their description. Right. If you go to a restaurant and you're a server, you know what the fuck you're supposed to do. Bring shit from point A to point B. If you're a cook, you're supposed to sling meat, bro, and get right. you some french fries on that bitch. <laughs> If you if you know what you're supposed to do, cops don't know what the fuck they're supposed to do, man. Their right. description is fucking a hundred things on a list. What uh, are you supposed to do? I think I think what we need to do is possibly look up at what Canada's doing, because like they're as much it. as I don't like, like I'm I'm an American. We run up to the I don't want to act bro. like Canada's better than us, well, but dude, looks like they it. don't have the headlines about policing that we have. Good or bad, you yeah. know what I mean? Like they, like really you don't cool. hear about Canadian cops. Mm-hmm. So yeah. what are the what bounties. are and, and, and the reason I say Canada is because we can't look at Mexico, which is Blame a shit Canada. show. Yeah. But you know, Canada is you know landmass e- almost equal to America. Maybe yeah. it might be a little bigger. Yeah. Um, it's a it's modern deep. industrialized country. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they stand with us when it comes to you know just how the country's ran. Their democracy and mm-hmm. everything. So it's like. I want to look at Canada's policing to see how they're doing it because I can't compare like a Norwegian country that yeah, has right. like half, not even half the population of America, but Believe Canada that. is close. There's a lot. And of I'm definitely not going to look at Russia or China no. or India <laughs> no. like for like massive. We're not going to look policing. at like you know Israel or something like that yeah. or. You know, Iran or Iraq yeah. at the time, Libya. You got things like you can't look at something like that because their policing has to be a completely different ball game. Oh yeah, you know that's different shit. Some of those man. countries are like the size of fucking Maine. Exactly. You know? yeah. yeah, and some it's of a those way countries different thing. are you know like total failed communism. state. Yeah, you got right. do this. You, know, you, got you get out of line, they cut you. You know, cut your hands off. Kill or you in the shit street. Like yeah, that. yeah, for real. Execute you Hunger Games style. You, you know. You know, some of these countries, you get caught with some weed in your trunk, you doing life. You're Believe done. that. In Drugs, a real alcohol, shit DUI, kind of prison. Done. Like, yeah. Bamboo shoots his fucking you know, for bars and shit. <laughs> catch me if you prison. can. Whenever he's fucking sitting in that fucking oh, cell, man. bro. Well, hell, I, I got someone. Uh, I don't know if you. I'm a big <clears> soccer <throat> fan. Have you guys ever heard the name Ronaldinho in soccer? Ronaldinho was like the 
if I was to describe him, he'd be like his play style was uh, like an Allen Iverson, super technical, Word. one of the greatest footballers of all time. Like, uh, like nice. no one even argues it when you say Ronaldinho is possibly the best. Like, he played for Barcelona in Spain uh, nice. for years. He won a World Cup. He it's won Champions eight. League, which is like the European competition. He won the domestic cups. He, he is like one of the most decorated players. Mm-hmm. He actually, this past year... Um, was arrested in Uruguay or Paraguay, mm-hmm. right next to Brazil, because his manager was getting him involved with, like, some money laundering situations. Shit, and damn. mind you, this guy is, like, in the soccer world and in the rest of the world where they watch soccer except yeah. for America. <laughs> he, he is, is. like totally South America he is like, like the, He's like a Kobe Bryant, a Michael Jordan. Yeah. He's a LeBron James. Like, he is highly – like, he was getting pictures with the prison guards. And in that country, he still hasn't been released. Holy shit. Although you go to somewhere like America, where, you know, there's, like, the justice system's a little catered towards yeah. rich and famous people. 100%. He's going to get money, out. You can walk. No, he's OJ still in prison right, right say, now. Look at OJ. <laughs> Johnny yeah. Cochran, bitch. Like, let's go. He's still in prison right Damn. now. Just Dude, to show you the difference fucked. between... You know, justice systems and policing in different places. Sucks, we're talking, dude. you know, South American country. He's in. Goes bars. back to the racism we were talking about too. With we think it's bad here. We don't know shit, bro. Yeah. There's some countries that are fucking right. brutal, man. Brutal. Yeah, like uh, not that, just toward one race. It's fucking both sides. It's every side, yeah. bro. Both sides, three sides, flip it upside down. They don't give a shit, man. They're fucking <laughs> brutal. I, I mean, I watched a documentary. I forget what country. I think it was in Indonesia somewhere, yeah. like Brunei or somewhere. Mm-hmm. There was a complete. Like, if you had spoken at all about any type of support, mm-hmm. I mean, this is just like the Bolshevik re- revolution and stuff in yeah. Russia. If you had, if anybody had any inkling that you even thought that this political party mm-hmm. was good, you're like, they would just come through and kill your whole family. Shit, dude, yeah. in Russia, <clears throat> during fucking like the part where they were becoming super atheists and before they were really believing the Bible and stuff. They would be raiding people's houses at 3 a.m. If they found a Bible in there, they'd beat the shit out of you and your kids, bro. And right. Of, and then and, and they'd just leave you in your apartment. Right. They'd come back the next day, and they'd do that shit every day, bro. Damn. That's serious, bro. You can watch that and, shit. You know, documentary I watched on Netflix about it. And I just want to say to the that's viewers... Just about fucking, that's just about Christianity. One thing more I want to say to the viewers is, like, this, this like, like, careless hate and ignorance that is continually perpetuating right Damn. now... That is that is like a slippery slope, and it, it's going towards the direction of a society where it's like that. And I and I fear for it. I you know what I mean? It. It's like yeah. this whole hate and, and exclusion and, and division. Too, yes, and that's the we, fucked up part. We it's, cannot keep it's dividing. so much division. That's what I'm right. saying. It's so much splitting. Like we were talking about earlier. If I disagree with you, you fucking hate me. If you disagree with me, I fucking hate you. Why are you gonna feel like that? Why can't people just disagree and be like, you know what? I don't agree with you, man, exactly. but we're still friends. Exactly. We can still hang out. I'm not yeah. going to block you on Facebook. Right. I'm not gonna, just because you don't like the Eagles doesn't mean I fucking hate you. Exactly. You're not allowed at my and house. Just because this guy it. doesn't like the doors. Right. Wow. And you don't like the fucking That's doors fucking doesn't mean tough. I'm going to disown your Taylor is out of say. control. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Like, why can't we just disagree on shit and be like, hey, you know, fuck you, guy, for whatever. But at the same time, you're still my guy. Right. You know, like, who gives right. a shit, dude? And like now, I said... if I catch you in the parking lot at the grocery store not pushing your buggy to the return Then we're going to fight. Then right. I might have then some more harsh words to say it. Then we're going to I'm going to say some <laughs> shitty shit to you. But, you know, the thing is, bro, is like, this whole disagreeing and like, oh, you're a, you're a boot-licking Trump-loving, right. you know, communist, you know... Whatever it is, bro. All these people call. Like I told you earlier, bro. If you're a white guy and you and you say anything that even promotes Trump, or you're a white guy that says Everybody anything, right. you're racist. racist. You're right. racist. You, you weren't in here. We were talking about it, and I was telling him about it. All the things he was doing, this great stuff he's doing, these protests, these these speaking things. You know, he was speaking, saying some real shit, talking about positivity. Everybody's gonna call you an Uncle Tom because, oh well, you're not doing this and you're not doing that and you're yeah. you're not agreeing with. Fuck Trump and uh, this, all that. Right, Who that's gives what I mean shit? by it's on both yeah. sides. It's both sides, bro. Yeah, we both, both have sides. to live in this area where I can't think what I think and you can't think what you think and you can't think what you think because this person is offended or this person's that. Right. This is America, bitch. I'll, we should I'll, all be yeah. able to feel how the you fuck know, we want to feel. I think the dif- like differences is what makes society great. Thank you. It's like Everybody's got to look at I, different opinions. Opinions, yeah. and man. Perception. Yeah. I, I love, like, like, I always use food analogies hey. to think of the world. <laughs> I'm down And, with that. you know, would you want to have just 
chicken nuggets and mashed potatoes every day in your life. These little young or bitches you can't cook. Dude. Or would you rather? Or would you rather try like? You want them dinosaur nuggets, bitch? Let's go. <laughs> hey, I do. Little fucks ranch with them. on the side. I do fucks, the I do fucks with them. But would you rather? Are saucy, would you rather real. have this bland, same old thing every day, or would you like? To have some Italian food, Mexican food, you Chinese food. You might want food. a chimichanga, you want some, Like Korean, Mexican fusion, like, like, like food Ooh. and humanity go hand Japanese in hand. food, bro. I mean, you got yeah. so much yes. good shit. Well, you don't want the same burger every fucking yes. day. Yeah. You know, you don't want the same chicken nuggets and bullshit ass whatever, right. you know, whatever it may be. You want some good shit sometimes, yes. man. And I, I want to eat like a burrito Believe with a side that. of macaroni and Thank cheese. Thank you, bro. <laughs> like, it's put okay to be in different. Fucking burrito. I want to put that shit inside. Yeah, I put macaroni and cheese on my burger. Dude, oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, That's hey, the move, right here. bro. It'll change your life. Yeah. A baked potato with macaroni and cheese and bacon in the macaroni and cheese. That's a move. And then bacon Ooh. on top That's of it. That's a move. Ooh. With some more shredded That's cheese. That's a move, bro. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> hey, it's a meal all by itself. That's but it, a it'll move. Change your life. That's a move, bro. I'm, I'm down on it. Yeah, I'm, I'm in. I get one of them Especially shells and cheese, I feel like. Shells and cheese with the baked potato is fucking that would that, that's I'm nice. Game right for whatever. There. God, damn. macaroni and cheese on top of my baked potato. That's how I roll. Oh yeah. my god, that's good shit. Like I said, I should be four hundred pounds. <laughs> that's awesome, I like dude. This but, has been a fucking great episode. I'm not gonna lie, I've been having a great time. Yeah, Thank you guys for tuning in. Yes. I'm getting numb. I'm sorry, yes. guys. It's wood chair. We my got ass some is wood chairs. Uh, I just want to, you know, kind of just wrap it up right here and let you guys know that I love you. And here's the thing. Your boy Private Miller is about to be all up on this. Like, this is not the last. This is nowhere near the last. We're about to be slaying it, son. <laughs> Plenty of podcasts to come. We got a million other topics we didn't even get to get to. Oh, yeah. You know Dave I mean? Filoni and Star Wars. Yeah, bro. We got a hey, bunch of shit. The bro, New Hope. Before you end this off, I meant to say it earlier. You talked about Star Wars. I just read some shit today that was really cool that uh, George Lucas actually kind of molded the Empire. Uh, and the stormtroopers, basically, more the stormtroopers yeah. than the Empire, uh, mm-hmm. off the Nazis. Yeah, absolutely. No 